stuck at home, then you're probably spending half of your waking hours on Zoom calls. But if you want to keep your meetings and importantly, your chats private, then there's a few things you should do right now. like me, then Zoom has probably become your one contact with the outside world. Be there outside world. I miss you so much. The video chatting platform has become massive for everything from business meetings to remote learning, even just catching up with friends. At the end of 2019, they had 10 million users. By March 2020, that went up to 200 million users. But Zoom has also had its fair share of issues. And I'm not just talking about the terrible camera angles on calls. I think no, the most important I have it thing on. about the yeah. quarterlies is that can't, yeah. well, can't you see me? Can you, hold on, such you, yeah. maybe you turn your camera off. No, 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 if we can do all that, then that yeah. should be better. Zoom has come under fire for some pretty serious privacy problems. People spying on your calls, Zoom sharing your personal information without you knowing about it. And something that I just learned, you're not the only person who can see your chats. Okay, let's start with the basics. There are a few different flavors of Zoom plans. The free or basic plan is pretty much for regular users. It lets you do things like host calls, set up video chats, and do group meetings with a meeting ID. Anyone who has that ID can access the call, whether they're coming in through a browser, the app, or just by dialing in. But when you start getting into paid plans, that's when you get a lot more features. There are no time limits on calls, you can have way more people in the calls, and most importantly, you can record meetings. And that's where things start to get really interesting. Now, when a host records a meeting, everything is recorded. They get a folder at the end with the video of the meeting, audio, as well as all of the public chat messages that were sent, saved as plain text. Not only that, but those chats can be viewed by your Zoom admin, say your boss, even if they weren't on the call. Now, this doesn't include private chats, but if you record a meeting with a colleague, then everything you say on public chat is saved and it could come back to haunt you. This is why it's not a good idea to use your work or your school Zoom account for social calls. If you hit the record button, then those public chats stay around for 30 days and your admin can see everything. It's probably a good idea to just set up a separate free account for your social calls and then you can trash talk all you like. Oh, tell me about it. What a moron. But your boss or your teacher isn't the only one who can see what you're up to on Zoom calls. And that's where Zoom bombing comes in. Now, this is where someone finds your personal meeting ID and uses it to break into a Zoom call uninvited, potentially flooding the call with graphic images at the same time. Now, it's security issues like this that have led some school districts to ban the use of Zoom for virtual teaching. That's why you should never share your personal meeting ID online and why you should use a password just to make sure strangers can't come in uninvited. But it's important to know that Zoom bombing isn't the only issue that Zoom has had in recent months. In early April, Zoom removed a feature called attention tracking, which allowed admins to see whether your Zoom window was open and active on your screen during a presentation. They could also give you an attention score out of 100. The company copped flack for sharing information with Facebook without users' consent and for also scraping users' LinkedIn profiles without their knowledge. And then there's encryption. Now, Zoom had previously said that they used end-to-end -end encryption, but researchers from the University of Toronto found serious issues with this security, including links to servers in China. With governments around the world using Zoom for top secret meetings, then those kinds of security issues become a really big problem. Now, Zoom has tried to reassure its 200 million customers that it takes security and privacy really seriously. It's updated with features like waiting rooms before calls and passwords turned on by default. The company also published a blog post at the start of April saying that it was going to focus all its efforts on fixing these kinds of security and privacy issues.
So the big question, should you still be using Zoom? Quite frankly, Zoom is really handy if you're trying to get work done remotely. But it's important to remember you can stay safe with just a couple of steps. Don't share your meeting ID online. Or if you want to be even safer, then use a one-time meeting ID. Set up a password. And importantly, if you want to keep trash talking with your friends, just start a new account so you can keep your chat private. Either way, remember there's one really great feature of Zoom calls. Pants are optional. No, I can't hear you. Can you see me now? No, really bored actually. Really, really, really bored. Before the end of financial year. No, I'm muted. It's fine. I always wear pants on video calls.